Let's write a program to swap the values of two integer variables using macros. I'll take three integer variables a, b and temp and I'll ask the user to enter two integer numbers. Uh, we have already written this program but we had not used macros there. In this program the only change is we will be doing, we will be performing the swapping operation using macros. So I'll store the user entered integer numbers inside the address of integer variables a and b. So let me output a message that is before swapping a is equal to percentage d and b is equal to percentage d. We are displaying the values of a and b before we write the swapping logic. So let me copy the same code and paste it after this and change this before swapping to after swapping. So in between these two printf we need to write our swapping logic or else let me write macro template here. Let me call it as swap and pass it three arguments that is three variables we have here that is a, b and temp. So the next step is to define this macro swap. So this swap is called macro template. Swap of I'll take x, y and temp. You could take any variable names here except the C programming keywords. So now important part that is let us write macro expansion. So transfer the value of x to temp and value of y to x and value of temp to y. So this is the logic to swap the values of uh, values present inside variable x and y. So the whole expansion logic will be replaced with this macro template inside main here by preprocessor before it before this source code has been has been fed into compiler. So let us check that. I'll give 10 and 20. So before swapping a is 10, b is 20, after swapping a is 20 and b is 10. Okay, that's working, but let us let us check it one more time. I'll give 200 and 500 this time. So before swapping a is 200, b is 500, after swapping a is 500 and b is 200. So we are not using pointers here, okay? Still it's working. So this is how we make use of macros to swap values of two integer variables. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.